Hello, and welcome to Anne Arundel County's Real Talk. I'm your host, Derek Matthews, and we're here with our very own Matt Johnson, who was the Office of the County Executive's Environmental Policy Director. Matt. Good to have you, man. Thanks for having me, Derek. So, Matt, it's been, what, nine, nine months since you've been here? Yeah, that's right. Man, this is good stuff. So, listen, I know in nine months you got me recycling like crazy. <laughs> I no longer drink out of straws. That's I right. get it. Um, so, before we dive into what you do, there's something about you that I remember the first time we met that just struck me. You used to st chase mm -hmm. storms, right? You used to be a storm uh, chaser? Yeah, yeah, I did back in the Midwest. Um, so what's it like to chase a storm, Matt? <laughs> oh, adrenaline rush. Okay. Let me tell you. Okay. Let me tell you a funny story about it. Okay. After all these years chasing storms in the Midwest, okay. never saw a single tornado. Just about a couple months ago, walking that. along the Chesapeake Bay with my four-year-old, two water spouts. <laughs> One day. Had to move out here to see a tornado. All right. Good stuff, man. So let's have some real talk. So I want to talk a little bit about what you do, um, chat a little bit about what um, what it is that an environmental policy person does, right? Sure. But let me tell the folks actually who you are. So Matt Johnson analyzes environmental sustainable policies for our office of the county executive. He previously served as a Chesapeake Bay program senior environmental policy analyst where he worked with stakeholders across the Chesapeake Bay watershed to design solutions to combat environmental degradation. Matt holds a graduate degree from Indiana University School of Public Environmental Affairs as well as an undergraduate from the University of Missouri. He's a proud resident of Anne Arundel County and a frequent visitor of our trails, parks, and kayak launches. Dude, that's good stuff. You are definitely <laughs> the environmental guy. So Matt, what's it, what's it mean to be an environmental policy director? What does that mean? What do you do? Yeah, so it entails looking at our laws, Okay. And looking at how we can either pass new ones to protect our environment okay. um, or um, how we can enforce the ones that we've already got on the books. Okay. You know, sometimes there are really, really good laws that have been passed, but they've been ignored for any number of reasons. Okay. So one of my big, big jobs is to look across the laws that have been ignored and make sure that, that our staff implements them. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, good stuff. So I know you're working on a very special project regarding the environment, and we're talking primarily um, about the tree planting. You're doing something with tree planting. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so really excited. Um, we just, pat the county council just unanimously passed Bill 6819. Okay, good stuff. Forest good stuff. Uh, conservation. That's good stuff. A lot of work went into that. I know a lot of late Forest. nights, right? <laughs> That's a lot right. Of late nights. All right, good stuff. So what is your like primary concern? I guess if I was to condense the question, I would say what keeps you up at night as an environmental person? So as an environmental person, I also have to think about how we can be resilient okay. against climate change. Okay. So what keeps me up at night, I guess I would say, is rising water. Oh, wow, okay. You know, whether we're talking about looking at what happened to the New Jersey shore with Superstorm Sandy and the okay. waters rising there, okay or whether we're talking about Ellicott City flooding right mm, next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeps me up at night thinking about here in Anne Arundel County, how do we prepare ourselves before that next storm? Okay. So we're, we're assessing right now, um, what are our vulnerabilities? Okay. Where would the water rise, both okay. on the coast and, and inland? And elsewhere. Yeah. Okay, so I was going to ask you why is that so important, but I think you just answered that. So like, are so why important? What is our main concern here in the county? Is it flooding? Is it a little bit, of, little bit of all of that? Yeah, so we have two main concerns in the county from water rising. Okay. One of them is gonna be coastal okay. rise. Okay. Um, we should expect the Chesapeake Bay to rise a couple feet, okay. um, if not more, and we need to prepare for that. Okay. Our, our coastal communities need to be more resilient. Okay. We need plans for that okay. rising water. Okay. But then inland, we need to protect ourselves not just from rivers rising okay. in, our, in our big flash flood events, okay. but also stormwater. Oh, uh, the stormwater is yeah. critical, right? The stormwater is really important, right? It's critical, and it's okay. the thing that everyone forgets. You know, we're all used to a floodplain, okay. and we're all used to the coast, right. and we know waters rise there. Right. But waters can rise anywhere whenever there's a, a heavy storm. Gotcha. And that's called storm water. Okay. And lots of times when there's too much rain, our communities are inundated by this okay. really quick 
flooding storm water. Okay. And we got to find solutions. Good stuff. Matt, I, I could talk to you about this for a long time. <laughs> so I'm just going to wrap up real quick. So climate change, I know, is really important yeah. to you. How is that affecting all of what you do? Well, it's, it's really a lens okay. you have to put on and okay. look across everything. Okay. No matter what policy we're trying to achieve, we have to say, with climate change, what should we expect in the future and how should we change our policy to become more resilient okay. in the future? All right. So what can the folks of Anne Arundel County do to help? Is there anything that we can do mm -hmm. other than I no longer drink out of plastic straws? That's a little piece, but what can we do as a community to help your office and help your efforts? Well, we can all take after Derek okay. and, and not drink out Get of plastic of straws. Because what, it takes like 500 years or something for it to break down or something? Crazy. That's right. Okay. That's right. And then I, I think another thing um, which we are trying to do more of is just go plant a tree. Okay. You know, okay. um, go plant a tree. If it has to be small, grab okay. a red bud. If okay. you want a large tree, grab the white oak or the red oak, okay. uh, Maryland's trees. Right. And uh, it's going to be great for the environment. It'll combat um, carbon. It'll okay. combat air pollution, okay. water pollution. Gotcha. So go get a tree in your yard. Good deal. All right. So that wraps up this week edition of Real Talk. You can catch this episode and archive episodes anytime, either on our main Anne Arundel County page, our Facebook page and YouTube by searching Arundel TV Real Talk. Please stay tuned for next week's episodes. As we come back, we'll talk about more special projects from around the county. Matt, thank you again. We thank appreciate you. it, man. All right. Bye bye.